Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide, and in this video we're going to look at how to configure a bridge connection on a Mosquito Broker. Now, a bridge lets you connect two MQTT brokers together. They're generally used for sharing messages between systems, and a, a common usage is to connect edge networks uh, to a remote MQTT network. And here's a little diagram that's meant to illustrate that. So we have an internal network here, and most of the traffic happens on this internal network and we connect some of the traffic, a subset of the traffic across the internet or across a, a wide area network to a remote broker and, and this is the bridge connection here across the wide area network or the internet. Well how does it work? Well when you configure a Mosquito broker as a bridge it becomes an MQTT client and it subscribes and publishes to topics on the other broker, on the remote broker, and also on itself, depending on the entries you make in the Mosquito configuration file. And here's a little diagram that's meant to illustrate that. So we have two brokers, broker one and broker two, and we configure one of them. We don't configure both of them to be a bridge. So let's configure broker one to be a bridge. And effectively, that creates a client on this broker now, depending on whether we configure it to be a both ways bridge or a one way bridge, then this client is going to subscribe to topics on broker one and also subscribe to topics on broker two. And it's also going to publish topics to broker two and publish topics to uh, broker one. And we'll see this later on in, in some examples. You should also note that only one of the brokers is actually configured as the bridge. The other broker, in this case broker 2, is just a, a standard broker and is configured as a, a standard broker. So the entries in the config file for the bridging is done on one of the brokers and not necessarily both. Now, the basic configuration, uh, you need to configure the address and the port of the remote broker or brokers. You can actually bridge to multiple brokers. You need a client name what topics the broker will publish and what topics the broker will sub subscribe to and topic remapping if needed we'll look at the remapping where you can actually uh, publish on a, a different topic let's look at a few configuration file examples and we're going to be using uh, this uh, setup here we have broker one with a bridge connection uh, to broker two and we're going to have clients publishing and subscribing on broker one and clients publishing and subscribing subscribing on broker 2. So here's a simple configuration file. The first thing that started is the connection and the name of the bridge. We could call this anything we want to. And then we have the address of the remote broker. And this time I'm using an IP address. You can use a domain name followed by the port number. No, I don't need the port number if I'm using the default port of 1883. And then we have the topic and we have topic wildcard and this means I'm going to bridge all topics and out this is out of the broker this is out of broker one with a quality of service zero if I wanted to bridge with a quality of service one or two I just change that to one or two now I've got no remote prefix and local prefix and that's why these areas are blank here but you'll see what happens when I do some topic remapping in a second and again on the in bound I'm again bridging all topics and again with the quality of service zero so out is out of the broker out of broker one and in is into the broker broker one from broker two now there's no entry on broker two broker two is configured as a standard broker so with the above configuration when a client publishes on any topic this is publishing on broker one on any topic that message will be sent to broker two and it won't be changed. So uh, an incoming message, house sensor one is published to broker two on topic house sensor one, no change at all. And when a client publishes a message to broker two, then that message published on any topic sent to broker two is sent to broker one. Effectively what broker, broker one is doing, it's subscribing to broker two with all topics. So with using the wildcard topic. Now here's another configuration example this time we are using prefixes and we've got a very similar setup to before on the out I've used blank local and blank remote prefixes now if you are using prefixes then you need to use this format local and remote I wouldn't need anything for this line because I'm not using them but for this line I do so on the incoming side 
I'm not using a local prefix, but I am using a remote prefix of B2. So what this means now is, when a client publishes any topic, this I'm publishing on broker one, that message is sent to broker two with a topic prefix of B2. Example, incoming message on topic house sensor one is published to broker two on topic B2, house sensor one. Now, on the other side, when a client publishes a message to broker two, then message publishes on broker two anything, sorry, on B2 anything are sent from broker two to broker one, but it removes the prefix. So it doesn't, doesn't have the prefix. So the actual message coming into broker one is the topic without this prefix. A message published to broker two on house sensor one is not sent to broker two. It's not sent to broker two because it doesn't have the prefix. So it needs the B2 prefix or it's not. So what we've got here is when we do this, effectively telling broker one to, to subscribe to broker two on topic B2 wildcard. That's what's happening there. So it's subscribing to broker two on B2 wildcard. So when bro broker two gets a message on anything B2, anything, it will send it to broker one. And I say on broker two, the configuration, there's no configuration required on broker two. It's functioning as a normal broker, not as a bridge. And let's just go th quickly through the format. And the general format is topic, the keyword topic, followed by the topic name, followed by the direction, which can be in, out, or both, followed by the quality of service, a local prefix, and a remote prefix. So here we have topic, and there's the actual topic itself. There's the direction I'm using both this time, quality of service and local prefix and remote prefix. I could leave them blank, but I've just used a blank entry there. And this just breaks it down into what the entries mean. So here's an example. How's sensor one in quality of service zero, no local, no remote prefix. And again, topic has sensor one out, quality of service zero, no local remote. And that is equivalent to this entry here, both. As I say, I prefer in and out rather than to, to both because it's a bit clearer to me. OK, so let's have a look at a few examples now. Now, when a bridge on broker one subscribes to a topic on broker two, it uses the form remote prefix plus topic name. And there's the example there, B2 has sensor one, the B2 it being the prefix. And when a bridge on broker one subscribes to a topic on broker one, this is broker one subscribing effectively to itself. It uses the form local prefix plus topic name. And here B1 is the local prefix and there's the, the topic name. So this is very, I found this very confusing at, at, at the start uh, to understand the fact that broker one is actually subscribing to itself as well as subscribing to broker two. So here's some example entries. So we start off with this one here. So we're bridging this topic here. We're bridging house sensor one and bridging both. And we can use either that format or this format. They're both the same. And this entry here is actually equivalent to this entry here using out and in rather than, than both. Um, the effect of this is incoming messages to broker one from a normal client on topic house sensor one are being bridged and will be sent to broker two on topic house sensor one. Now, incoming messages to broker one on house one sensor one aren't going to be bridged. They're not going to be sent anywhere. And likewise, incoming messages to broker two on house one sensor one aren't being bridged. The only thing that's being bridged is this topic here, house sensor one. And here's another one. Um, this time we've got a, a prefix, so we're using the entry both and B2 for the remote prefix, and it's equivalent to this entry here. We're using in and out. And the effect is incoming messages to broker B, B1 from a normal client on topic house sensor one are being bridged and will be remapped and sent to broker two on topic B2 house sensor one. Now, again, Anything else coming into broker one isn't going to be bridged. It's not going to be sent to broker two. Now, incoming messages on broker two from a normal client on topic B2 house sensor one will be sent to broker one on topic B2 house sensor one. Now, broker one actually removes the prefix, so you don't see it on broker one that the prefix is removed. 
and we were sent to normal clients subscribed to House Sensor 1. They won't be subscribed to House Sensor B, B2 House Sensor 1 because B2 is removed by Broker 1. There's another entry. This time we're doing both uh, local and remote. So local prefix of B1, remote prefix of B2. And here's the equivalent entry using in and out. So local and blank and local and B2. Now, the effect of this is messages coming into Broker 1 from a normal client on topic B1, House Sensor 1, are being bridged and will be remapped and sent to Broker 2 on topic B2, House Sensor 1. So the B1 is stripped out and replaced with the B2. Now, go to Broker 2 and send a message into Broker 2 from a normal client. If you send it on B2, House Sensor 1, it will be sent to Broker 1 on topic B2 House Sensor 1. Now Broker 1 removes the remote prefix which is B2, adds in the local prefix which is B1 and will send them to normal clients if they're subscribed to B1 House Sensor 1. If they're subscribed to House Sensor 1 they won't get it. They have to be subscribed to B1 House Sensor 1 because it's got a local prefix. Now there's some other settings on, on the broker that I'm not going to cover here, but they are actually covered on the uh, tutorial on the site, and there's the URL of the tutorial. And they are round robin username, use of username and passwords on, on the bridge. Encryption, and encryption, there is a, an article on the site or tutorial on the site on configuring encryption, uh, SSL encryption on the, the bridge connection. And that's likely to be a very uh, common scenario that you secure the bridge connection and also you find some notes on looping and loop detection and uh, that's done now i will also be doing another video on encryption to cover encryption because it's actually quite uh, involved uh, you can also take a look at this or you should also take a look at this uh, the configuration file the official one and it tells you all the different um, settings in the in the bridge connection and if you go onto the um, tutorial on the site, you'll find uh, links to other configuration articles, Mosquito configuration article, articles that you might find useful. That's the end of the video. So if you've got a comment on the video, then use the comment form below. If you liked it, then use the like button below. And if you want to be informed when I publish another video, you can also subscribe to the channel. I do publish a, a newsletter and there's a subscribe form on the website if you go over there. So until next time, bye.